just want to kind of pause at this time and allow some people to share some testimonies of how God has changed and impacted their lives through 40 Days of Purpose. Michael Schwartz, come. Um, when you first asked me to do this, um, thinking about how God's changed my life, I mean, in the most awesome way anything um, God does. Um, he changed my life because I accepted him as my savior, but um, the story behind it is what really I love to tell. Um, it all started, I began reading, same as everyone else did, um, you know, first day, second day, and I was doing okay then, um, but I didn't make it a week, um, and I just couldn't, I couldn't read anymore. Every, every night I would sit up reading it, and I would just sit there and literally shake with fear, and I would just make myself sick to the stomach. I couldn't sleep because I knew something wasn't right. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe if I quit reading, come back in a week, start reading again, um, you know, life would be back to normal the way it was. Um, but it, it didn't happen that way. You know, God had me right where he wanted me then. And um, he just, he convicted me. I mean, every single night I couldn't stop thinking about it all day long. Um, I knew I wasn't right with God. I just wasn't where I was supposed to be. And then finally one night I went in and talked with my mom. And it wasn't until that point in my life that I really realized that um, my whole life I'd been playing the church game. I've been going to church since I was little. I walked an aisle and was baptized when I was nine, but I just, I didn't understand what I did. You know, I knew it in my mind, but I didn't know it in my heart. And um, last week I was baptized. And, you know, afterwards I went out and so many people told me that, you know, they did the same thing. You know, they were, you know, 20 or 30 or whatever when they came forward and they finally realized that they weren't right with God. And um, that was the only thing that I had holding me back was just the fear of what everyone would think of me you know, I work here in the church, I'm, you know, here all the time, and I've just been playing the church game, and that scared me, but, um, you know, there's, the fear of not knowing where you're going when you die is, is so much more than that, and then it finally overtook me, and, you know, God has changed my life through this, and I thank Him for that every day.